name, please? Marjorie Burns. Your occupation? Well, I was a detective in a department store. What is your name? Jimmy Kelly. I am a detective. <laughs> At least you two should be able to keep track of each other. <laughs> yeah, you sign right on. We'd like to get married right away. If you're in a hurry, I'm afraid you're in the wrong state. I have a friend, a justice of the peace, crossed the line. He, I'd be only too happy to send him a telegram if you want me to, uh, to meet you at Red Rock Tavern. Oh, that'd be very nice of you. <laughs> uh, are you married? No. I was born this way. <laughs> This is the kind of night that gives me the willies. Something's always giving you the willies. Uh, as soon as I can save enough money, I, I'm going to get out of here. I want to be where there's light. Sounds like the wailing of ghosts. What makes ghosts wail, Mrs. Jameson? Oh, Bert, don't ask foolish questions. Go and put another log on the fire. Yeah. Say, Mason, why do you think Wentworth asked us to meet him here? I haven't the slightest idea. But whatever he has on his mind must be important. Bill's message read the same as ours. But what I can't understand is why he wants to see Gloria. You're not bad at this gag. Have I told you anything yet? Yes, I've taken that journey that you mentioned. And if I place this dark woman properly, you've told me plenty. I should go into this thing as a business instead of... That's a bad card, isn't it? That is the card of death, Harrison. Well, it's funny. I feel all right. Sometimes, cards lie. Personally, I haven't much confidence in this sort of thing. Oh, that's a, a bad sign. Well, at any rate, I'll be careful. That's always a good idea. If you'll excuse me. I think I'll go to my room. Certainly. Can I help you? Yeah, you got a fireplace? Oh, we got one inside. Uh, well, fireplace won't come to us. I guess we'll have to go to it. Keep the chains. Here, are, honey.
Well, there it is. My name's Kelly. Has there been a man, a uh, justice of the peace, looking for me? No. That's funny. Decidedly inconvenient, too. Uh, well, are you sure you're in the right place? Well, this is the Red Rock Tavern, isn't it? Yes. Well, if my man shows up, I'll only need one room. If you don't, I'll have to have two. I'm sorry. We can't accommodate you, sir. You can't? No, we haven't any vacancies. Well, that's it. You mind if we hang around a bit until the justice shows up? Why, no. Thanks. Well, what's the good news? Oh, bad, honey. The guy hasn't shown. It looks like we'll have to sleep standing. It's got me. A joint like this out in the middle of nowhere and doing more business than the Grand Central Railroad Station. Well, well, what'll I do with these? Oh, just leave them there. Yes, um... Oh, what a spot. Is this better than chasing petty thieves through a department store, I ask? Yes, it sure is. Oh, starting to answer your own questions, huh? Now, don't stop me. Oh, I'm full of romance. Must be this tavern. The fireplace. I feel so poetic. I could make love to a snowman. If that justice of the peace doesn't show up, the chances are you'll have to. Oh, dear. You know, it is peaceful here and quiet. It's nice. Down here! Oh, what is that? It came from Harrison's room. What? What happened? The guards didn't lie. Come on, Jimmy. Wait a minute, punk. You're liable to poke your face in where it doesn't belong. You hug your fire. I'll see what this is all about. I'm through. Through. I can't breathe. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm afraid to die. Look at those marks on his throat. That police dog must have done it. Their teeth marks, all right. What's going on here? Uh, don't exactly know. Uh, heard a terrible moan from Mr. Harrison's room. We'll take care of that killer. Say, well? Harrison's dead. Where are you going? To get my gun. That dog will never attack anyone else. I should have had that dog put out of the way a long time ago. He's a killer, part wolf. Well, what do you think? He hasn't showed up yet. Uh, who? The Justice of the Peace. No, no, no. I mean about the case. I didn't come here to solve any murder mysteries. My object is marriage. You'd better be careful of him. Don't worry, I will. You know, it might not be a bad idea to phone the coroner. Uh, yes, uh, surely. I'll do it for you, Mrs. Jameson. Oh, will you please? Gladly. Give me the coroner's office. I knew this would happen. Huh? I warned Harrison. How did you know the dog was going to attack him? I'll tell you something else. Everyone here is in the shadow of death. The same thing that happened to Harrison might happen to you. Or you. Or me. Come on, sister, let us in on your secret. I read it in the cards. You mean you're a mind reader? Oh, cut it out, honey. A mind reader reads minds. You're letting yourself open for a wisecrack there, Jimmy. 
you stop your clowning? This is a very serious situation. She reads it in the cards. Personally, I think it's a lot of hooey. And I'd suggest that you get over here as soon as possible. That's fine, thank you. Goodbye. Or not, I think we'd all better turn in. But what about the coroner? Well, I'll, I'll wait up for him. You folks had better get to bed. Say, couldn't you put us up somewhere for the night? Why, uh, as soon as they take Mr. Harrison's body out, you could have his room. Well, I don't think I could go for that. I'll bunk with Bill. You and your husband can have my room. Well, uh, we're not married yet. I have a large double bed, and if you don't mind, I'd be very glad to share it with you. You can sleep with me. You've got yourself a bed partner, mister. Would you mind helping me upstairs with the bags? The uh, large one goes to this gentleman's room, and the other one goes to the ladies. Uh, yes, sir. Well, I'm retiring. Good night. Good night. Pleasant dreams. You mean pleasant nightmares, don't you? When you come back down, fix the fire for the night. Yes, sir. You'd better stay up. Maybe you'll be able to help the coroner. Oh. I think I can take care of everything. If you're needed, I'll wake you up. Uh. Good night. Good. Good night, darling. Hi, dear. Well, he got away from me. But we can set a trap for him in the morning. That sounds like a very sensible idea. We've had enough excitement for one evening. Now let's go. Has Wentworth shown up yet? No. Well, that's funny. And the Justice of the Peace shows up, call me. Oh, sure. Must have been something very important to detain him. Oh, no doubt about it. Which room are the girls in? Uh, uh, that one. Boom! <sighs> Did it scare you? Will you please go to bed and stop playing? Good night, dear. Good night. Oh. I wonder if I'm making a mistake. Well, he has a sense of humor, hasn't he? Yes, sort of. But even with that handicap, he's the most popular man in the department. The department? Yes, Jimmy's a detective. And if I must say so myself, a mighty good one. <laughs> Too bad about Harrison. Did you know him? Well, slightly. How long have you been down here? Came down this afternoon. On a vacation? Yeah. Is he working on a case here? <laughs> yes, if you can consider me a case. You see, he wants to turn me over to the Justice of the Peace. It's sort of a light sentence. And believe me, it's one jolt a girl can't be freed from on account of good behavior. No, of course not. Uh, will you excuse me? I'll be back in a minute. I uh, certainly. Well, I guess I'll turn in. Hey, wait a minute. Twin beds in there in my room. Why don't you bunk in there with me? Well, that's not a bad idea. Thanks, I will. I thought you were going to bed. I was. You'll excuse us, won't you? Oh, uh, sure, 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 sure. Sure. Now, what's wrong? You know the boy who's sharing Bill's room? Yes. He's a detective. No. The girl told me. I'm sure we're not responsible for their being here. 
But I thought I ought to warn you, it's better to be on the safe side. <gasps> That's fine now. Wait a minute! Stay in there, Margie. Let's find out what all this yelling's about. Just like Harris. <gasps> Turn on the lights. It's huge. It's a pity he didn't get that dog. This is getting on my nerves. We better lock all the windows so that animal can't get back in here. I'll lock this one if you fellas take care of the rest of them on the ground floor. Okay. Oh, Mason. We're all doomed. I can sense it. Oh. Pull yourself together. Take care of her, will you please? Oh, this place is spooky. Shut up! Isn't it bad enough to have the tavern turned into a madhouse without you wailing all the time? <coughs> Take a look at the windows, will you? Sure. How far does the coroner live from here? Uh, why, about ten miles. They should have been here by now. Maybe I'd better call him again. Supposing I call him this time. Hello? Hello? Now what's wrong? That's what I'm going to try and find out. Well, that's a clever dog. After he kills his victims, he cuts the telephone wires. Why? That's impossible. 
You're telling me? How do you figure it out? Well, uh, I haven't yet. Of course, you're the logical man to solve this mystery. Now, what do you mean by that, Crack? Being a detective, you're naturally more familiar with murders. That is, if these were murders. Oh, are you a policeman? Well, I am an officer, but I'm traveling incognito. I thought you came in a bus. Shut up. Say, how did you know I was a cop? Your feet gave you away. You're not doing so bad yourself there, partner. Do you think I could get in this nervous condition all by myself? I can't understand it. I was practicing to be a dutiful wife. Darling, will you please hush up? Come on. Are you all right? Yes. What do you mean, yes? Look at me, I'm shaking like a leaf. Say, you seem sorry I wasn't bitten to death. Marjorie, will you please hush? Come on. What do you mean, come on? I want to talk to you. But that dog in there can't... Don't worry, nothing's going to hurt you. Oh, it was nice knowing you, gentlemen. What do you think? Do I have to tell? You know, that girl's troubled with hallucinations. I don't think I'll wait any longer. Will you please make arrangements to have me driven back to town? I'm sorry. We're having a car on the place. You'll have to wait for the morning bus. Well, uh, I don't believe there's a chance of any of us getting much sleep tonight. Suppose I make some coffee. That's a grand idea, Mrs. Jameson. And I second the motion. All right. Well, what makes you so sure that the dog I saw wasn't the one that killed those two men? They were not killed by a dog. Come on, break down. I hate mysteries. Why, I don't even eat hash. Listen, you better sit down again. Well, I just got up. You might as well sit down because what I'm going to tell you is going to knock you down anyway, so you just as well relax. See that? Don't tell me you joined the Elks. Oh. That's a dog's tooth. I found it in Hughes' room after he was killed. And get this. That's not the tooth of any live animal. There's no flesh around the end. And the enamel's worn off. What in the world are you driving at? The person that killed those two men used a set of false dog teeth. <whistles> Say, this is thrilling. Boy, can I use this. Sugar? Harrison always liked coffee. Oh, come on, Gloria. Snap out of it. I wish I could. You have nothing to worry about. All the windows are locked. That's not going to do any good. It's closer than that. I can feel destruction near me. Well, drink your coffee, my dear. I'm sure it will make you feel better. I remember what I told you. The first thing we've got to do is to find a motive. Well, I don't think it's up here. Oh, you're impossible. Come on, five and ten cent store detective. This is certainly grand coffee, Mrs. Jameson. Thank you. How do you feel now? All right. Well, you're just in time. 
I hope you don't mind my inviting strangers to your party, Mrs. Jameson. Why, not at all. Bert, bring two more cups. Yes, yes sir. Well, I see you've pulled yourself together. Yes. Yes, I was a little upset myself. And how do you feel? Oh, never mind. I have a rough idea how you feel. You can joke if you want to. Before this night is over, you'll wish you never came here. Say, what do you think I'm having, a picnic? Oh, thank you, Bert. That must be Wentworth. Maybe it's the Justice of the Peace. Oh, thank heaven you're here. We thought maybe you had an accident or something. Glad to see you, weren't we? Sorry if I'm late, Mason, but I left just as soon as I got your wire. You received a message from me? Why, well, yes. Something queer going on around here. We all received wires to meet you here. That's right. And they were signed Wentworth. It's a trick, Mason. It's a trick. Well, where's Harrison? News. They're dead. What? Yes. I knew this would happen. What happened? Where are you, Jimmy? Here I am. Get all of my hand. What's going on here? There must be a fuse burned out. I hope you're right. Oh, now what? It, there's nothing to worry about. Much. The canary. You stay right here. Jimmy! Jimmy! Hello, boy. <laughs> You want to get in where it's warm? Yes, but you want to help me find out who's blaming you for these killings. Huh? <laughs> Let's see, Mother Goose. If I can find a piece of rope. Oh, this is better. Jimmy, if this is a gag, I'll break your neck. Who is she? It's little Jimmy Kelly, and I've caught the killer. Oh, I could break your neck. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Hey, 
Say, how did you manage to get hold of him? I found him out there by that shed. He's a wild baby, all right, but I don't think he'll cause us any more trouble now. I'll say he won't. Are you sure this is the dog we want? Positively. I saw him in Harrison's room. You killer. <laughs> this is the animal that killed Harrison and Hughes. Have you got a gun? No. Well, Hughes had one. Don't go in there, Mr. Mason. Why not? He... he's dead. Well, that is news. He sure wants to get rid of this dog. But I can't understand why Jameson said he was part wolf. I think I got the motive. What is it? Revenge. Revenge of what and by whom? Well, I didn't get that far, but... What are you hauling me for? Well, didn't you say something? No. Oh, I must have been hearing things. You're beginning to get warnings, just like I did. Oh, they must have paid their light bill. You know, there's something that I'm going to train you to do after we get married. What's that? Keep quiet. I guess Mason's having trouble finding that gun. I'll get my hand. Yeah, and hurry it up. Something's happened to Mason. <gasps> Here. Hold that dog. Get that dog. He's dead, all right, and killed the same way as the others. But that's impossible. The dog was in there, muzzled. And it wasn't the dog. How could it be? You're right. These men were killed by a human who in some way used dog's teeth in order to throw the suspicion off of himself. I've known this for an hour. I suspected Mason as being the guilty person. I tried to trap him. I'll have to ask you all to line up in the next room. What right have you to tell us what to do? He's a detective. Or Come, something. Come on, line up in the next room. And who are you? I'm something, too. <laughs> you heard her. Now, I'll have to take charge. We all know this animal didn't kill anybody. Let him loose. Well, this is terrible. I, I don't know what to do. Why, we may all be killed. Probably the killer's in this room right now. Where's the nearest telephone around here? The gas station, about two miles down the road. I want you to phone as quickly as you can and have the police come here. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, and bring the coroner along, too. All right, folks. Line up. Let's do this thing systematically. What's the idea? If anybody's got any guns on them around here, I want to know where they are. You frisk the ladies. Right. But there hasn't been any gunplay? No, there isn't going to be any. All right, fellas. Don't you think it was a bad idea to send that man for the police? I'll ask all the questions, my friend. Come on, Pollyanna. And I hope you're not ticklish. Please, Mrs. Jameson. Come on, Pollyanna. My, my, you should reduce. I'm sorry. I uh, don't suppose you could get out of that chair. I could if you would help me. Surely.
All right. You understand? Yeah, certainly. I'm as anxious to have this murderer caught as you are. Maybe more so. I wouldn't have a chance to fight for my life. There, there, Mr. James. Don't excite yourself. Now that we've exposed the killer's methods, maybe he won't strike again. Let us hope not. Where do you keep your guest register? On the hotel desk. Well, that's kind of natural. How am I doing, babe? Harrison's from Philadelphia, Hughes from Portland, Mason from Chicago, and Gloria Roloff from Mexico City. What did you tell me there was a copper here? We didn't know it ourselves till a few minutes before you arrived. We have no way of warning you. Well, it's all clear to me now. He's the one that sent us those wires. That's possible. But it still doesn't account for the murders. No. They're from all parts of the country. Well, maybe it's a convention. Come here, you three. Sit down, I want to ask you people a few questions. Mm -hmm. Well, what's on your mind? Tell me, how did it happen that six people, you and the three men that were murdered, got here at practically the same time? Well, it might have been a coincidence. That's right, but it wasn't. This isn't the tourist season. Matter of fact, there hasn't been a guest in this tavern for two weeks. Now, just a minute. Are you trying to solve this mystery or pin something on us? Both. I have a hunch that you and your party came here with one definite purpose. If you wouldn't mind telling me who suggested this place to you, we might be able to clear this whole situation up. Well, I got a message from Harrison and this gentleman here. I thought you only knew Harrison slightly. That's my business. Maybe so. But it might interest you to know that whoever got you here, got you here with one idea in mind. And what was that? To kill you all. I knew it. I knew it. So, you see, gentlemen, the only way for you to help yourselves is to come clean. We'll do anything we can to help you. Why, certainly. Of course we will. Now, gentlemen, that we understand each other, is there anyone you know who would want to put you out of the way? That is, uh, individually, or shall we say as a gang? No. Take a look through the luggage, kid. Maybe you can find a clue. Mrs. Jameson. Yes? Would you mind going with her, please? Why, certainly not. Let's go. I'm not much on this detective business, but if it's true that somebody planned to get these people here to kill them, then there are only three people who can be considered suspects. And those are myself, my wife, and Bert. Surely you have servants around this place. Yes, we have two maids, but they left shortly after dinner. How do you know they didn't come back? Just a minute. What was your idea? Oh, he could have done it. He could have even cut the telephone wires. But I didn't. Mr. Jameson didn't say that you did. He said that you could have. But how do we know that Hughes wasn't killed until after this man went into his room? What? Well, I could have done it too. I was just getting around to that. Perhaps it's in the closet. Yep. We'll soon find out if that gal brought any of her secrets with her. Oh, I'm tired of all this. I'm leaving. No, you're not. One of Mr. Jameson's three guesses might be right. But I can clear myself easily enough. The bus driver can verify you're that You're staying I... just the same. Say, you could be the guy that's doing the dirty work. I've heard of phony detectives before. Wait a minute. Now, let's try and get to the bottom of this. Would you folks mind telling me what racket you're in?
Chances are all we'll find is a deck of cards. This is one time it won't do you any good not to talk. Why, you... Come on, let's get out of here. It's locked. We can get out of one of the windows. Well, let's hurry. Can't get out here. There are no bars on the windows in Harrison's room. Where is it? Follow me. shouldn't have done it. Listen, your life is just as much danger as ours. Listen to me, will you? The door is bolted. All the windows are barred. We're going to die, all of us. You're going to help us. Somebody's got to help us. Come on, buddy. I don't see what I can do. Oh, we've made enemies. Lots of them. We've been smuggling jewels across the border. Oh, I see. One as big as a hen's egg. Boy, I'd like to be able to find the hen that could lay that egg. <laughs> well, at least we know what their racket is. Can't you think of some person or persons that would want to get you out of the way? How about that guy that accidentally fell off the truck about a year ago? You know, he blamed us. Oh, no, we took care of him. Mrs. Jameson, I'd like to ask you a question. Yes, what is it? Did you build this place? No. Mm-hmm. Why? Why do you ask? Well, from what these people tell me, it was constructed for just such a situation as this. Why, well, I, I don't understand. Every window in this place is barred. I can't believe that. Oh, Jimmy. What is it? Come here a minute, will you? I'll show you. Jimmy! Huh? I want to talk to you. What is it? I've got a clue. You have? Uh-huh. They're jewel smugglers. You're terrific. I'll still show you. There you are. Why? I can't understand it.
to see you. Oh, please don't bother me. Can't you see I'm in enough trouble? From whom did you buy this place? Why, we read it from a Mr. Morgan. He's the owner. Oh, Jimmy, look. Oh, please, hush. What kind of a man is this, Morgan? Very odd. He wears large spectacles. He's an inventor, a scientist. When did you see him last? Well, that's strange, but we haven't seen him since the day we took the place. Neither he nor a representative have called to collect the rent. Would you know where to reach him? No, he said he'd get in touch with us. Got another clue? Yes. Well, keep it. Do you know a man by the name of Morgan? Morgan? Oh, yes, I know several men by the name of Morgan. One of them was an inventor. We financed him. Would there be any reason for this man wanting to kill you? No. That is... If, uh... Jimmy, I must see you. Well, take a good look. This is important. What's the big idea? I think Jameson is the man we want. For what? Listen, Jimmy. I saw him get out of his chair and walk. Well, why didn't you tell me? What do you think I've been trailing you around for? Exercise? Oh, stop clowning. Are you sure you saw him walk? Positive. I always thought there was something phony about that guy. Where's his room? Did you want to see me? Why, uh, yes, uh, uh, Mr. Jameson, I, uh, I've been thinking over what you said about those three out there, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised if you didn't come pretty close to hitting the nail on the head. I'm going to question them further, and I'd like to have you give me a hand. You can watch their reactions. I'd be glad to help. Now, let's get back to this Morgan fellow. How long is it since you've seen him? Oh... About six months. That was about the time you took this place, wasn't it, Mrs. Jameson? Yes. Did this Morgan fellow make any threats against you? No, not exactly. Uh... Mrs. Jameson, could uh, I have a glass of water, please? Why, certainly. I'll take these things out, too. Did you find anything? Give. Here's some belongs to you. It's the dog's head. Where did you find that? Don't you remember where you put it? There must be some mistake. Oh, he can't be the killer. That's what you think. You mean... You suspect me of these crimes? Yes. 
But, but I'm a helpless invalid. I can't even get out of this chair. That's what we thought. But I saw you get out of that chair and walk. Why did you kill Harrison, Hughes, and Mason? And why do you want to kill us? Release us from here. Let us out. Come on, confess. Oh! I'm the man you want. I killed them. I wanted to kill all of you, too. Oh, you what? I'm the murderer. I can't believe it. It's true. I thought I could get away with it. You see, I can walk. I've got strength in my hands, too. I put it on like this. And then I go for their throat. Stop oh, you him, him. Take it easy, not so fast. I'm sorry now. I guess I was mad with hatred. Take me away. I'm your man. Why did you do this? You wouldn't understand. Get that rope over there. We'll tie his hands up until the police come. Why did you commit these crimes? Why? Well... Well, what do you care? I've confessed, haven't I? Not much I can say, but I really feel sorry for you. Certainly is tough on Mrs. Jameson. Yeah. But I'm sure glad we caught him. You've done a swell job, honey. I'm kind of proud of you. Gee, it's nice to hear you say that, Jimmy. I wonder who he's trying to cover up. Who? Jameson. What are you talking about? He's not guilty. If he was, he'd know why he committed those crimes, wouldn't he? Yeah, I guess so. Wait a minute.
Who are you covering up? Nobody. You mean he isn't the killer? Absolutely not. The what? murderer is still at large. We cannot escape this death that is closing in on us. Come clean, Jamison. Come on clean. I... I can't tell. to die. <laughs> you are having a chance. For three years, I've carefully planned this. There shall be no escape. <laughs> In a few minutes, we'll all be dead. Where'd that voice come from? From over there someplace. It's the work of a maniac. We've got to work fast. It leads down in the cellar. Well, if you're going down there, we'd better take this light. Phonograph record we heard. A pretty clever gag at that. Hey, this is just a trick to get us down here. See if that upstairs door is locked. I've a few words to say to you, and you'll listen to me. You'd better listen too, Wentworth. Morgan? But you can't kill me! I spent a lifetime perfecting an invention that should have made me rich. You stole it from me. You stole my very life away. Oh, but, but we'll do anything to make matters right. It's too late. Can you give me back my life? Wait a minute. What I can't understand is, why is Jameson trying to cover you up? What are you talking about? He confessed he killed those three men. What three men? Why, Harrison, Mason, and Hughes. Are they dead? Didn't you know that? No. Then you're in a spot, too. What do you mean? Never mind that. How did you get in here? Through that window. Then we can get out that way. Why doesn't he kill us instead of torturing us? 
torturing us this way. There shall be no escape for you now. You must die. Where's Mrs. Jameson? Well, the last time I saw her was when I followed her down here. You followed her? Yeah, I had a hunch. Well, she isn't here now. Well, didn't she come up to the lobby before I did? Did any of you see her? No, I didn't. Then she's between here and the lobby. Will someone kindly tell me what's going on around here? Look! Say your prayers. Your time on this earth is limited to seconds. All of you must die. In this life that you are about to leave, the innocent must suffer. Yes, just like I have suffered. You're insane. If I am, Wentworth and his crowd have made me so. <laughs> you didn't think you'd have to answer to me, did you? I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't. You're very clever. But you're not as resourceful as a person fired with vengeance. The desire to right a great wrong. Give us a chance, Mrs. Jameson. Mm. <laughs> give you a chance. You didn't give Helen Armstrong a chance, did you? Helen Armstrong? What has she got to do with your murdering us in cold blood? Everything. You framed an innocent young girl to smuggle jewels across the border. And then, rather than face the disgrace of going to prison, she killed herself. From that day, I determined that you were all under sentence of death. And now, <laughs> now I'm ready to carry out your execution. Helen Armstrong was my sister. When my husband first realized I'd used the dog's teeth to kill, he utilized almost superhuman strength to protect me. He even confessed to my crimes, knowing it was my love for Helen that brought you all here. <laughs> I want you to look carefully in the ceiling. There you'll see a little glass bomb. <laughs> All I have to do is to pull this cord. It will drop among you. The panel will close. And you'll be caught like rats in a trap. <laughs> when you are all dead, I will burn the tavern and destroy all evidence. <laughs> oh, Not all, Mr. Jameson. customers for you. Book her for murder. They're smugglers. Here's a grip full of evidence. Uh, I'm sorry it took me so long, but... Uh, right this way, coroner. Pardon me, but I'm the justice of the peace. Why, how are you, justice? Glad to see you. I thought you told me to get a justice of the peace. <laughs> if I'm not greatly mistaken, we did want to see this gentleman. Why, sure, that's what we came here for. Step into the church. Do your stuff, Justice. Do you take this woman to be your lawful wife? I do. Do you take this man to be she your lawful wife? She does. I then declare you a man and wife.